Tonight, we want you to meet a woman who's coming together for Coloradans finding therapy in the simple act of expressing themselves. They've made terrible mistakes in life, and they're paying the price. Now they're finding support and an emotional outlet on the walls of a Denver tea shop. A simple storefront in Denver's Five Points neighborhood opens up to a tea shop with a complex mission. Open door serves up tasty beverages and baked goods, and also a chance for former inmates to move out of society's shadows and onto brighter futures. They deserve to have that face and to be a part of the community. So that's when I founded um, Open Door Tea Shop. He created this. He when she's not at Open Door, Kristen Cardenas runs a nonprofit providing art therapy and mentorships to former inmates. The walls here are full of artwork from current inmates. The impressive pieces sell well, with the money going to the prisoners' families. A lot of times it's the grandparents or the mother raising several kids on their own, and um, they don't get child support, obviously, and so it's really the only extra spending mo money that they have to support their children. Thank you. You're welcome. William Gomez is Open Door's only full-time employee. He did seven years behind bars. Says behind those walls, art provides a rare chance at expression. I think it allows them to express more than they're able to say where they're at. I guess their work will speak for who they are. Gomez himself is a talented artist, and 10 of his pieces have sold at Open Door. This self-portrait by current inmate Daryl Walker is striking. He titled this piece Ghost in the Mirror and included a note about the innocent victims of alcoholism. Do you think that he's saying, I'm sorry in there? Yes, absolutely. To those he's hurt? Yes. Seeing the powerful impact of art therapy has made Kayla Crittenbrink an open door regular and booster. Kind of told everyone about it. I'm like, I have to come to open door and just sharing the mission and it's really cool. How's the coffee? It's delicious. Sure is. Away from the tea shop, Kristen Cardenas runs 10-week-long art therapy programs for former inmates.